We're excited to say that we'll be building a gigafactory in Mexico. There will be a grand opening, groundbreaking, and other events. But we're excited to say that the next Tesla gigafactory will be in Mexico, near Monterrey. We're really excited about it. Now, I do want to stress that we will continue to the real reason for this choice is not just a question, but a look into the strategic mind of Elon Musk, one of the most important innovators of our time. Join us as we peel back the layers of this brave choice. Why did Mexico get picked over other candidates? How does this fit in with Tesla's big plan for the future? What does this mean for the car business around the world? In this video, the strategic choice that led Tesla to build a new gigafactory in Mexico is broken down. It looks at the things that made Elon Musk make his decision, such as economic, technological, and market issues. But before we go any further, please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to Tesla Stock News. With that out of the way, Let's get to today's top news. Tesla has made a groundbreaking announcement. They have chosen New Leon, Mexico, as the site for their new Gigafactory. This is a big step forward in Tesla's ambitious plan to grow. The fact that Mexico was chosen over other countries like the UK, Indonesia, and South Korea is a smart move by the business. The new building, which CEO Elon Musk has called a Gigafactory, is more than just a way for Tesla to make more cars. It's also a sign of growth and innovation. Tesla's commitment to changing the auto industry is shown by the factory that will be twice the size of its current largest facility. There is a lot of excitement because projections say that the cars made here could dominate the market and become Tesla's best-selling products. Tesla's new Gigafactory in Mexico is not only huge, it's also a first of its kind, taking up for 1,000 to 100 acres of land just for the project. Tesla is showing a level of ambition that has never been seen before in the company's history. This huge piece of land, which is 68% bigger than Giga Texas, shows how big the project is supposed to be. But this growth has much bigger effects than just size. We'll talk more about what this means in in real life. The sheer size of the land suggests more than just a place to make things, vehicles. It suggests a full self-sufficient environment devoted to production and innovation for example this could include r and d centers supply parks and maybe even housing for workers making a fully integrated industrial community it makes sense to choose mexico for this huge project mexico is close to north america's most important markets and it has a strong network of trade deals that help tesla with both production and distribution this geographical advantage is very important for Tesla's supply chain and logistics management. Getting rid of transportation delays and costs is important in the very competitive car industry. This growth could also mark a new era in Tesla's manufacturing philosophy. The huge area makes it possible to use cutting-edge technologies and production methods. There may be progress in robotics, energy efficiency, and environmentally friendly ways of making things. This fits with Tesla's dedication to innovation and caring for the Earth. Think about the job options. This project will make thousands of jobs possible, not just in the plant, but also in related businesses and services. These changes could have a big impact on the local economies, helping people make a living and building a skilled workforce in the area. The size of the project also shows that Tesla is planning for future growth and changes. This could be a center for making cars, batteries, energy storage solutions, and maybe even new technologies that haven't been announced yet. The options are as endless as the land itself. This project also shows Tesla's faith in the growing demand for electric cars, EVS, by making output more efficient. Tesla is getting ready to meet not only present demand, but also demand that is expected to rise in the future. This is a clear sign that Tesla is not just responding to the market, but also actively shaping the form and architecture of cars in the future. The Gigafactory might make things better. Tesla has the chance to create a cutting-edge building that is not only useful, but also a work of architecture that could become an icon and a symbol of modern industrial design. The effects of such a big project on the environment will be closely looked at. Tesla has the chance to show that big industry projects can be environmentally friendly at the same time. Using sustainable energy sources could be part of this. Cutting down on trash and using eco-friendly ways to make things Tesla's approach to manufacturing. At this new Gigafactory is also interesting. 
based on the model they used in Germany. The company plans to build more support infrastructure around the main factory. This will allow them to make important parts like drive units and batteries in-house, which gives the company a sense of pride. Tesla's new gigafactory in Nevada and what it means for the economy Leon are huge and have many sides to them, like the people in the area. The state's governor is very excited about Tesla's move and thinks it will have a huge impact on the economy of the region. This project isn't just about building a new factory. It's also a big boost for the local economy as a whole. Getting better the expected effects are many and varied. First, the gigafactory is expected to directly and indirectly create thousands of jobs. These jobs will range from skilled labor positions inside the factory to a wide range of support, roles in nearby businesses and industries. The increase in jobs is expected to have a positive effect on the local economy, raising the standard of living and making many families' finances more stable. Additionally, Tesla's presence will likely attract a number of related industries, such as supply chain logistics companies and technology companies, all of which will want to take advantage of being close to this manufacturing powerhouse. This will further boost local economic growth. Besides that, the Tesla Gigafactory is meant to attract foreign investment, sending a message to the world that New Leon is a booming center for industrial excellence and new ideas. The state will become more well-known as a place to invest in high-tech goods, which could bring in more global companies in the tech and car industries. This development model is similar to Tesla's Giga Shanghai, where they quickly and efficiently copied their successful Californian operations to start construction and operations. The same efficiency and speed are expected in New Leon, which means not only a quick turnaround in terms of construction and production ramp up, but also a quick path to economic benefits for the region. This method, while in innovative, suggests that it might take longer for the factory to start running. The new car will be smaller and cheaper than the Model 3. This design choice is in line with what people want outside of North America, in places like Mexico and Europe, where roads, especially secondary ones, are often narrower. A tiny car is more useful and appealing. This is different from the way Americans like their cars to be bigger. Tesla's choice to open a gigafactory in Mexico is not only a smart business move, but also a strategic masterstroke. It fits with global market trends, takes advantage of the benefits of international trade, and appeals to a wide range of consumer tastes. This move could give Tesla a bigger part of the global market, showing that the company can adapt and do well in a competitive world, and that's all there is to it. Tesla's move to build a new gigafactory in Mexico is more than just an industrial move. It's also a move in the global economic chess game that takes advantage of Mexico's large network of free trade deals. Tesla is preparing to change not only the way cars are made, but also how electric vehicles are used all over the world. Now the question is, how will Tesla's new smaller vehicle design fare in the various will this strategic move in Mexico really give Tesla an edge over its rivals in the global race? More importantly, how will these changes affect the future of electric cars around the world? Leave your thoughts in the area below. And don't forget to like this page while you're here. Also, sign up for Tesla Stock News to get the latest news and insights. Until next time, keep watching and subscribe.